Africarize. A workshop on the regional rice sector development was held from 24 to the 25th of September 2012 at Africarize, Benin. The main objective of the workshop was to discuss and build a strategic partnership for effective collaboration for regional rice sector development in Africa. Africa Rice Policy, Innovation Systems and Impact Assessment Program leader Dr. Ali Yudiyan commented. How we envision the research through the uh, GRISP, the Global Rice Science Partnership, the research products moving from the going through the, uh, the uh, different task forces, agronomy, breeding, policy, gender, mechanization, and post-harvest. All this th thematic research going into the hubs. And there we would like to meet the development partner so that within a process of three years, research product will be tested on farm across the rice value chain or at the processing level or at the marketing level and validated with them and jointly with the existing program they will take up those products that have been validated then to house care. During the workshop, Africa Rice's Research for Development Strategy 2011 to 2020 was presented, highlighting the mechanisms for outscaling rice sector development in Africa. The Director of Food and Nutritional Security Program of Africa Harvest, Dr. Rose J. Rose said. We have been linked to the various technologies that are coming out of the research investments in Africa Rice. We will ensure that those outcomes all those technologies get to the end users and they are not sitting on the shelf. We have been introduced to the hub innovation or approach. So as Africa Harvest, we are going to ensure that the hubs in East Africa are vibrant, they are working, and there will be a good visibility for Africa rice and rice as a commodity within the continent of Africa and beyond. Fari Lee Boli, a delegate from RUPA, Network of Farmers and Agricultural Producers Organizations of West Africa, observed. Et de l'énergie. C'est réellement une bonne initiative et nous souhaitons qu'on va continuer avec euh, les SNRA au niveau des pays et comment on peut évoluer. Dr. Ali Yudiyan commented. Based on the target that we have, for instance, for each hub, we say we, for at the farmer level, each hub, we would like to reach minimum 10,000 farmers for the next five years to work with them intensively to see that minimum those 10,000 farmers for each hub will receive the new product coming up of uh, the research and will adopt it. Research we will work in with a small one, 1,000 to do all this testing, but the other 9,000 we are relying on these partners to reach them. So they have, we have shared the project they have now that can help in reaching those target. But of course there is a gap. And we are now devising strategies, making work plan, costing. We will come up with the work plan for each country and the budget, overall budget, what money we have and what gap funding gap we have to reach these 10,000 per herb farmers. Of course, it is not only farmers. We have also target for processor. We have target for marketers and for all the area that we want to improve for seed production and so, so on. So that gap, we will jointly work to approach multilateral donor governments which are project on rice so that the activity we plan to reach that through that we'll have the funding then to reach the target on, on that. 
participating institutions and strategic partners were also invited to present their approach and current initiatives related to rice sector development. SG2000 country director Dr. Abu Berthay said, We are ready to strengthen that system. So, and we did some pre-planning of what what are the target, what we can do together, and by looking at the funding gap and how we can collaborate to develop protocols, share materials and uh, to do evaluation. Dr. Mirai Barbier, Regional Technical Advisor for Agriculture from Catholic Relief Services, stated. To be able to develop together strategies of intervention that have a lot more impact, that are at a scale. That's what the buyers, the foundations that we finance, veulent de nous, en fait, c'est qu'on atteigne un grand nombre de producteurs et c'est ce qu'on essaie de faire avec les hubs. Songhai Rice Team Leader Dr. Anthony Monique remarked. Songhai will be very willing to key in because uh, we have intervened in so many countries for now and uh, it would be nice to also work with Africa Rice which is uh, the organization that has the mandate to produce the best rice in Africa. Dr. Ali so Yudiyan commented. They all have training they are doing. They have training matter and training approaches on rice. Almost so all the three organizations, Songhai and uh, Sasaka Global 2000 and, the, and also Africa Harvest, to now harmonize the content so that we are going to use the same training material. Although the training will use different approaches. All the organs have different approaches for for scaling out, for working, which is very fine with us. Discussion covered issues on partner collaboration and support for regional rice sector development efforts in Africa. Within the next two months, we hope we are planning to have a full work plan of the joint partners, Africa Rice and its development partners, that will include the research part and the development by how to reach these end users across the value chain. And starting next year, we will start implementing. For more information, visit www.africarise.org.